I definitely have a huge regret of not wearing earplugs when I was younger because I would go to raves yeah. when I was 16 or 17. Sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> and I wouldn't wear earplugs because, you know, you just said, it. let's just, you know, have a good time and whatever. But I'm definitely paying dividends now. And Today, we are going to be kicking off a three-part series about one of the most important body parts for musicians and artists and DJs. And that is your ear, your hearing. Despite and, what you may have been thinking. Right. And the importance <laughs> of it. You know, it, we can no longer deny that tinnitus is real. We can no longer deny that it's freaking loud at all these like <laughs> raves and stuff. We can't even deny how loud it, it is in some of your studios. And more importantly, you know, for the topic today with DJs, it is the loudest when you're playing and the monitors and you're like jamming a headphone to make sure you're hearing what's in here and you crank it up. And then after the gigs, uh, you get this ringing noise that lasts, you know, for days, sometimes for weeks. And, you know, for a lot of artists, it's uh, it's an ongoing thing. And, you know, I think one of the questions, Gino, that you mentioned, um, a lot of people are asking is, um, you know, I'll just make you... I'll just let you take it over. What was the uh, question yeah. in terms of... Well, I've, I've been asked a lot, and I even asked the same question with our peers, is uh, do you wear earplugs while you DJ? You know, while you're mixing it, whatnot. First thing I ask the question is, do you wear them when you go out? Do you wear them when you have a gig? And do you wear them when you're DJing? To my surprise, a lot of artists that are established had told me no. Yeah, yeah. Which, which is... I, but a couple have told me yes as well. And I think what it really comes down to is just being stubborn. Because at the end of the day, the problem is you have to get used to them in your ears. And because you don't want a chance having a bad gig, throwing off a mix, you don't ever really want to do it. You know, and that's my situation as well. I know I need to do it. And then when I get to the gig, I put them on. I try a song or two and I just, I can't do it. And it feels weird. It feels weird. And to go back, back to my dad again, my dad, so I played drums my whole life and I was a metal drummer and I play very loud. And my dad used to literally yell at me, where are your plugs? Where are your plugs? And I never did. And the reason why I didn't is because when I would wear my Vic Firth uh, uh, um, earmuffs, it would change the sound of the drums. And then when I would take it off and I'd play with my band, I didn't like what I heard. It's almost like when you're producing and you do a mix down after, changes the sound. So that's also another issue. So it really comes down to not being stubborn and just dealing with it and getting used to it. And then it'll be a thing of the past. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing that you mentioned is the risk factor, right? Most DJs don't want to risk the fact that, okay, you're at a live show. Let me put on earplugs so that I can DJ with them to protect your ears. The con is that while well, you might miss hearing something, you might skip a B and you may train wreck. But I think that's a short term thinking because the long term detriment is that uh, you're going to lose your hearing. And I'm part of the stubborn crew not gonna lie like even when i go out and you know you even warned me the other day like are you wearing earphones I'm like, ah you know and i think that's i'm a bad example and i need to change that <laughs> and i do think a, a way for djs to combat that risk right well i don't want to you know put it on when i'm at the gig well you know start wearing it when you're practicing at home i think that is the most logical step you can take to get used to having something feeling muffled and stuff or you know because it's a catch-22 right here we are talking about hearing you know hey protect your ears but then us as djs don't even really wear extra added protection you know for it but i do know that there are uh earplugs companies that do specialize like you know they can lower the db so it's not the same frequency cutoff as like a normal one that you will wear it's slightly less so that you can still hear more of the music, but it's still better than like going bare into yeah. it. And, you know, we'll drop some links below on some companies who I think does a really good job on adjusting the DB levels of their earplugs. It's customized so that it will feel okay DJing. And the critics can say, well, look, you're still blasting a high amount of volume. It doesn't matter what you put in there. I mean, the high frequencies are still going to go through, but the arguing case, it's, it's better than nothing. Yeah, for sure. And, but if, if you're doing this as a career, I mean, even if you're not, because it's your ears, but you sh I would highly suggest that you invest in getting the molding done and yeah. having a piece of ones that were made specifically for your ear. And essentially, they have filters, minus 15, minus 20, minus yep. 23, 25, I think. Um, and it's, at the end of the day, it's like 150 bucks, which is really yeah, not that for bad. For your ears, I think that's worth it. Look, I won't name some DJs, but there's some, let's say, drunk code artists that I've played with that are duos that have to stop playing, and one of them has to continue on because of their tinnitus. This is multiple times. I'm not just talking about one duo. 
Wow. At all. Yeah. yeah they have to loud, cut their sets bro. early. And look, look, just last night I had to put on a rainfall to go to bed because I was producing yesterday, uh, last night, and way too loud in my headphones. And that's one more thing I want to give advice to everyone. Producing with headphones is worse than playing gigs by far. Yeah, it's worse but than playing. We're not gonna jump into that right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 we're saving that for another. Episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, trying to say. But yes, you know, I think wearing earplugs while you produce music and you de- and when you DJ at home, I think that is the the preventative case at this point. You know, I don't know if that's gonna cure it. I'm not a doctor in terms of you know all of that. I'm sure a doctor's like, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> the music is just too loud. It doesn't matter. What you, but but here's yeah. the thing: people aren't gonna stop doing this meaning they're not going to stop learning how to dj and produce music at home mm-hmm. using loudspeakers and then when they go out for a gig you know you know firsthand i know firsthand dude you gigged as well too i mean it's it's the loudest inside the booth and if you're playing a festival stage i mean you know sometimes all you hear is the stage monitor like it's rumbling the yeah. stage is rumbling because the monitors are so good Right, but also so loud that like I literally have to DJ with my headphones on, turn it louder than the rumble, and then by the time I'm done, my right ear is shot completely. Jeez, I had that feeling. Yeah. So I guess where we're going with this is uh, make sure you do take it seriously. Take it mm-hmm. from us older <laughs> folks in the scene. <laughs> we're all over thirty-five at this, you know, at this stage, and it has definitely affected. Our hearing, yeah. my hearing for sure. Yeah, and I could say from, I don't have as much experience with you as far as professional DJing like you guys do, but I definitely have a huge regret of not wearing earplugs when I was younger because I would go to rage yeah. when I was 16 or 17. Sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, I, and I wouldn't wear earplugs because, you know, you just said, fuck it. Let's just, you know, have a good time and whatever. Mm-hmm. But I'm definitely paying dividends now. And unfortunately, in the ironic part where, I want to make this, or I am making this part of my life now. This is part of my occupation. And now I have this really loud ringing on one side and a quiet ringing on the other side. And it obviously affects it. My ears just get tired so quick. Um, and as much as we want to hear like the full impact of the music when we're going out or DJing, whatever, it's, it's become like one of the biggest regrets of my life is yeah. like not taking care of, like just not telling my 16 year old self, like just put in some like, toilet paper in your ears or something like that just do something you know don't, don't just yeah. go in and just without your earplugs so yeah and Look, you know, just to, to remind everyone it's irreversible exactly exactly uh, and yeah. if uh if anything I, I'll, I'll tell people right now i've tried every single weird homeopathic or off you know non-western medicine because western medicine has a zero like recommendations so mm-hmm. I've tried a lot of Eastern medicine stuff. Uh, and if anything, it makes your life worse. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's like, don't get to that point. And then once you get to this point, then it's just like, well, you got to just kind of minimize the damage and try yeah. to figure something else out. So here's my final take on this. You guys know I love using sports analogy, right? I mean, like in the DJ world, it's like, well, the, your knees aren't going to give out or like it's not going to be impact as much as like any other injuries but it's the ears Mm. the ears is actually the part you have to protect i actually never realized this because i'm like oh i do you could dj until you're carl cox's age or danny tanaglia's age but it's like no wait a minute it could get cut short like that drum code artist or that drum code duo that you just mentioned that you know i mean if you can't hear your career's over and you know i know there's that movie um it's oh, all gone it's oh, all yeah gone. yeah it's all gone awesome. i mean that's just not real like until being deaf and djing that's just a fictional movie thing and uh you know as a promoter i'm not going to take my chances with booking mm. a dj that can't hear so <laughs> yeah. be able to you know be able to understand this now right now right we're gonna drop some links below for some recommended earplugs for djs um you know whether you're at home producing, DJing, or going out, uh, wearing earplugs is super important. And we could talk about the rest of the audience in terms of producers, what you need to do. And then even for people that go out there regularly, how you should make this a piece of your habit and practice. Wow. Yeah. All right. I think that's pretty much it in terms of uh, not going deaf, <laughs> doing <laughs> what you love <laughs> yeah. in this episode. Be sure to click like and subscribe. Check out all the links below and we'll catch you in the next episode. All right. I am Gia with 6am and Artist Map. 
I'm Kevin with uh, 6 a.m. and Artist Map. And Gino Atrox with Faculty of Electronic Music, 6 a.m. Awesome. Artist <laughs> Map. <laughs> and yeah, and you know. No, for sure. I mean, we're really essentially one, uh, you know, we join forces. So I feel like I could be Faculty of Electronic Music. You are. You, could be, you know, I mean, that's what good partnership is. Peace. Peace.